How are we doing, everybody? Welcome to another episode of Getting Jiggly With It. I'm Will, and today we're opening one of our only backers that have come in. <laughs> so we got into this, you know, whole board game thing, and then I unfortunately got into the whole Kickstarter thing, which has caused me to back a lot of things. Luckily, we were able to get in on Sea of Legends in the late backer, and it's already here. And considering we just started this in January, that's a quick turnaround. Now, I've heard this game... They did very well with production. I think it took less than nine months, uh, which I know is unheard of in the Kickstarter realm. Normally you're looking at at least a year. But I digress on that, guys. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and get into this game. Um, I've watched some gameplay, so I kind of have some basic understanding that I'll go through as we go through this. Um, but this is a game by Guildhall Studios. Let me get this flipped over here. Uh, so it is by Guildhall Studios. It is ages 14 and up one to four players it is a 40 minute per player um, adventure and now this is a game that relies completely on an app so it is a fully app based game um, that doesn't deter me one bit the app will be released on march 26th so we will be doing a birthday stream as my birthday is march 27th um, playing this game with you guys so uh, make sure that you subscribe so you can watch the live gameplay. Uh, so we'll get into the first thing here. Now this is a honkin' box. Um, I forgot to show the outside of it, but if you look here, this, it's supposed to look like a book. Um, so it goes around, it's got like the book pages, and then on the side is actually um, this spine. So it's got a spine of the book, so it's got uh, the creators there, Zach Wiseman and Ryan Chapalis. Chapalis? Uh, sea of Legends, little pirate logo, and this is one of two boxes. So we will go through this second box once we're done with this one. But this one has the rule book. So let me go ahead and I'll slide this over for a minute, and you guys can look at the wonderful Cubone and Haunter there. Um, but here we go. So there is the rule book. Um, nice little table of contents there. Kind of goes through all of the different um, aspects of the game. Uh, your component overview, setup instructions. I was going to do a setup video, but considering this needs an app and there's really not much setup to it, I think we're just going to do an unboxing because there's a lot of minis for us to look at here. Uh, but the art the art in this book, the, the layout of the book, uh, me and Audrey kind of flipped through this when we first got it because we were excited to get into it and see what all was inside of it. Uh, but they did a really good job. I like the layout. I like the, the colors. I like all the examples, lots of examples um, in this book. And then if we get back here to the backs, so we'll just go ahead and skip all the way back here. And here's some more examples, right, of how things work. But in the back here, we're going to be able to see all of the different factions that come in the game. So, well, maybe I did go too far. Yep, I went too far. All right, so there we go. So here is the faction. So we do have the all-in pledge, uh, which is about $155. So we got all the factions, so we'll be able to play this many times because the story in the game changes. So even though it's an app-driven story, it changes based on these other factions that you have. It changes based on the lover that you choose or the nemesis you choose. So all of it's going to change the game. Um, that's why it's taking so long to make the app. I got to think of all those story combinations and we love choose your own adventure. So this is gonna be great. So the first one you get is the Spanish Armada. Uh, and then they are symbolized by the Spanish Galleon. And then the next one is the Atlantean Usurpers. Um, so you get this big King, oh, it's focusing on a different spot that I'm trying to show you guys. So it's got King Alaren and a Seeker there. Uh, those are your minis. Then you have the British Empire, uh, which comes with the Admiral, who's got this big old cannon and then the naval officer up here. Uh, the next one is, here we go, is the Children of Tlaloc. <laughs> Children of Tlaloc, I guess what we're called. But they are the merfolk, so you get uh, Tezahuito, Tezahuito, and mer a merfolk guardian. We're gonna love trying to pronounce these. Uh, we got Quetzalcoatl later. Uh, we have the undead, yeah, the dead tide here. So you got a skeletal colossus, and the Undead Soldier. And then the next one are the Aztecs. So there we go. We got Quetzalcoatl and the Champion. Uh, so that's pretty cool. And then we have Ordo Nocturnus. 
which is you get this big demon looking thing, the Nocturne, and then you have the Initiates. And then this is Sea Coven. So the Sea Coven are elementals. So there you see a Sea Elemental and you got Allura, Fury of the Sea. And then what's this one? Sentinels of Mukul, uh, which is a Kickstarter campaign. So these I, I remember was unlocked because of the campaign. So you got Bats, the Great Protector, and you got these little Sentinels. And then you have the Sky Stalkers right here, which is the Harpy. And I think that's the last one. Yep, so that is the last one there. And I do like this. I did see here. I love little player guides. So this has a little player guide. And you get these big games. You're like, wow, this has got 20-something pages of rules. But when you come back here and you look, okay, so you can do this, you can do this, and you can do this. It's three steps. Like, Everdale kind of was scaring us as well. It's like, man, there's so much you can do. But it's like, you can do one of two things and you're done, right? And then your factions, this is what they do. And then to win the game, players race to gain 10 or more pirate, which um, I'm guessing that's going to be some kind of like reputation by the end of the round. You know, to tie the player with the most gold wins. Factions can be in the game too. They have unique victory conditions. Well, there we go. That is the rule book. Uh, this is the board. Um, let's see how big the board is. See if I can actually get it open. So it opens once, twice. Okay, so the board actually isn't that big. Um, I'm covering up the webcam, but here we go. So this is the, the board. It actually isn't that big. I could actually, aha, uh -huh, I think I can use this in place of my, <laughs> I'm, I'm struggling here. So I did not get the play mat and I did not get the coins. Um, I didn't, again, this is I think one of the first Kickstarters, well, late pledges I did. So I didn't want to overdo it. So I didn't get those. So I don't know how much better those are. Uh, but here we go. There's our little board. So we have uh, Skull Point up here in the corner. You can't see Havana, Nassau, Thieves Landing, Tortuga, Port Royal, Claw Bay, uh, Cartagena, Bridgetown, St. John, San Juan, and Smuggler's Cove way up here in the corner. All right. Uh, so let's see here. So we've got our first set of uh, tokens. So I don't know what these are. We're just we're looking at everything, but it says base, base game 03 back. So I guess this comes with the base game. Now let's see how these pop out. I know some people like to see how these pop out. So that, that was nice. Uh, didn't look like it left too much there. So yeah, most games I've seen are pretty good at that. They, they just pop right out. Uh, that one that one's sticking a little bit. Yeah, so it looks like they're sticking a little bit. See these little, little bits here? So uh, that might be a little bit troublesome to come out all right so i'm gonna i'm gonna stop while i'm on camera i'm gonna stop while i'm ahead uh you notice i did that with my nail there uh so that kind of dented it there with my nail now let's try these guys all right so the bigger ones are okay these little ones look like you might need to be a little bit more careful with all right so that is we'll put those over there we'll keep these couple couple tokens out as we get different tokens uh so here we're into the first set of minis so this is going to be uh or do we do we'll do the minis at the end we'll do all the, we'll do all the minis at the end uh, i just got this somewhere to put the minis put the minis somewhere uh we'll do the minis at the end of each box so you got the first box you can see all the minis in that and then we can do the second box uh so here we go so these are our coins so yeah those those come out pretty good uh looks like some kind of damage slash marker yeah it seems like all these little ones because they left that one little Hang tag, and that's the only thing you've got. Those don't pop out as nice. Uh, I'm not sure what these are. They look like the different factions, so these must have something to do with the factions. Uh, yeah, same here. You get plus two. There's the undead. Yeah, I guess that's the the undead faction. Yeah, these look like the Aztecs. Yeah, so these must have something to do with the the factions. I didn't read the rules. I probably I probably should. Normally we get some playthroughs in before I do the unboxing, but. Since it just came out today, and there's no uh, app yet, we could not get our playthroughs in. And I knew that was going to come back and bite me. I put the I put the minis in a spot that I knew that I was going to have to put other stuff in. All right, so here is all right. So this is the last um, board that comes in here. So you got a compass here, some pretty big compass. Uh, looks like little some kind of little token. It's the same on both sides. And we got more little pirate tokens. Uh, lots of these. Yeah, those popped out pretty nice. And then I guess these are the one, the ones, so the silver pieces, pieces of silver. Uh, pieces of eight, right? 
Uh, and then I guess these are little attack things. Yeah. I don't know. I've got a I got a pile full of <laughs> got a pile full of tokens down here now. All right. And then the next thing in here are the cards. So let's see if we can get these cards out. Um, and these trays are, are pretty nice. Um, I don't have anything bad to say about the trays. Um, they do have the little clips here to kind of hold the, the lids on. Um, there is tape on this one, so I'm going to take that off the sides. So I guess you could leave that on or take it off at your your discretion. Uh, I don't know what. Uh, let's see. We got all these little things. We'll get those out. We'll get the cards out. We'll go through the cards. We got more cards. We got dice. We'll go through the dice. We got more dice. We got rings. We got, I don't know what those are, we got those. Uh, we got plenty of bags, you definitely need some bags for all of the uh, things. And then here's the, so the cavity wells for all of the stuffs. And then there's minis in there, those are the, the big bosses, so we'll go through those as well. All right, so let's, where, where, are we, where are we starting? Let's start with these first things I pulled out. So I think these are for the, yeah, so these are for each of the factions. So you got your key concepts, uh, so basically this one, King Alaren is revealed by the Atlantean, uh, Atlantean event card. Seekers pursue King Alaren. Defeating Seekers grants trophies, uh, which unlock rewards. If King Alaren is dealt three wounds, the Atlantean usurpers win. All right, well, that's not good. I guess you can't kill the king. Uh, so yeah, so it's got their objective set up, right? Uh, their special rules, things that are about them. Uh, seeker, moon seekers will move towards the king. All right, so that way I guess they, they move towards him to kill him. Uh, when entering a region, yep, so just so it's, it's a nice little uh, quick tip guide for each of them. That way you don't have to have the full book out. So there's one for each. So you have Atlantean, the British are coming. The British are coming, the British are coming. Uh, children of Tlaloc. Uh, the Dead Tide, and the Spanish Armada. So this is the base game here. So the base game has these five. The extra box behind me, the purple box, that is the all-in or the expansion. Um, so you did get some bags. I don't even know why the. I don't even know why I took those out. Get in there. Uh, let's see. What else we got? We got dice. We got lots of dice. So this is a dice rolling game. So we got lots of dice here. Um, so let's see, we got a one, what do we got one? We have a rose, a one, a dagger, a navigation wheel, and a one. Are they all the same? Uh, one, 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 so three ones, navigation wheel, rose. Yeah, so it looks like they're all, all the same. So we get, how many of these? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So you get 10 of those. It's a lot of dice. And they roll. Oh, and then there's four, more, four more here. So I wonder if these are different. So now that's a question. If they're different, you got to keep them separated. Da -da. <laughs> All right, you knew that's where that was coming. Um, so yeah, so it's one, 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 one dagger, rose, navigation wheel. So is there is there no difference? Why are they in two different bags? I wonder why they're in different bags if they're the same. Yeah. Yeah, they're the they're the same. So I don't know. So there's there's a couple more in that bag, and then you get the power up dice because uh, these ones have some twos. So the blue the blue dice have so you have the rose, the one, the one, the navigation wheel, a two, and then the dagger. So. I don't know if this... No, I guess that doesn't make a difference. It's the same, except for since it's a blue dye, they did the white background instead of the, the black. So you get four of those. So we're up to way too many dice. Uh, let's see, what else we got? Um, that's it for this box. So for the base set, we're going to go ahead and now get into the minis. We'll leave the bosses for last, right? Because the bosses are what we all want to see, the nice big ones. Um, but Audrey took a look at the minis. I didn't look at the minis really. I saw them on the Kickstarter page, but I didn't check out the detail. But Audrey took a look and she said they had a lot, a lot of detail. 
So we're going to go ahead and get into uh, the first one here. All right. So what do we want to do? What do we start with? So they're all pretty much the same, but I'll pull out two just to see the comparison, like to see how the quality is from one to another. Uh, so here is the the little first little guy here. So yeah, they got lots of... It, the bad thing is, is like it's trying to pick up on me and everything else rather than these little guys because they're so tiny. But uh, yeah, they do. Look, you can see like the little, the little tentacle suction cups. So yeah, these are going to be fun to paint. So that's one of a benefit, right, of the app not coming out right away. That gives you plenty of time to paint these. So a lot of people are upset that they wouldn't be able to play it right away. But I mean, I guess maybe if you're not a painter. And I do like there's a small amount of um, detail on the base. So yeah, even sand. It's It's got sand on it. Oh, that's nice. So Simon, you know, usually has a very flat base, right? And it doesn't have any texture on it. So I do like when there's texture because it saves us time from having to do it ourselves, manually do it um, like we did with the Aftermath minis, right? With the Aftermath minis, we put the grass and all that stuff on these. There we go. Yeah, so same same detail. So that's pretty cool. All right, so we'll get those guys up uh, here. they will just chill out with us. So there are... How many of those? One, two, three, four, five. So there's six of those guys. And then here are the British, right? Here are the British guys. So their, their base is plain now. So their base doesn't have anything on it. So I'll we'll have to texture that up a little bit. Uh, but yeah, look at the look at the detail there in the in the bag. Like that's so so nice looking. These are gonna be fun to paint. And I don't I don't see where the mold lines are. I mean, I might find them. I might have to clean them up. But it looks like these might be single cast, maybe, or mold injected. I don't know. I, I forgot to look to see what these were made out of. And they're they're sturdy, too. Like, his gun, his gun's got a little bit of give, but that's, that's not bad. So you get one, two, three, four, five. So there's six of those guys. Um, the heroes, we'll do the heroes last. Um, well... Last before the, the, the bosses, right? Uh, so here we go. So here is the Spaniard. Uh, oh, oh no, it's the undead. So there you go. So he's a it's a skull up in there. Wow, that is so. I mean, it's it's it, the. I apologize. It's trying to pick up on my <laughs> my hand, but uh, yeah, there's there's a lot of detail in there. Even though these are awesome. We're we're on a mini. We're on a mini mini. Uh, bend right now. Uh, now this is kind of thick. It does have a thick jacket. Uh, but that's probably because they had to do that, right? He's got his, his saber in there. Um, is there coins? I guess there's. they tried to do a coin um, in there. Yeah, you can kind of see where they tried to do like a coin in there. Um, but I'm thinking the space, they just couldn't. Uh, but that's fine. You can, you can paint it with uh, something in there. Um, so what are we up to? Uh, the... The Sea Maidens uh, for Atlantean. So there we go. We got these awesome looking little blades. Look, and it's even got the detail. Like, you can still see the detail on the blade. So yeah, they did not skimp at all. Little deep, little little notches in the, in the dress. Um, it's got a little bit of extra down here on that one leg, but that's, that's easily, that's easily taken off with a hobby knife, right? Yeah, these are just these are beautiful minis. I thought he was right. These are these are very nice minis. So that's that. Um, so there's four of her, and then you get the ship. You get a bunch of the Spanish ships because that's that's the Spanish one, two, three, four, five, six. So there's eight, eight of the. Whoops, sorry about that. Hit the camera. There's eight of these little ships. So same thing. Look at that detail. That's just beautiful. Uh, Oh, even though even the boards, look at that. Even planks on the ship. Yeah, these are these are nice. I like these. These are gonna these are gonna just be. Uh, we're gonna love painting these. Wow. All right. So now we got the the heroes in here. So there's four. I guess there's four heroes in the base set. Uh, the rest must have been the stretch goal. So it must be the four that are on the box. Uh, so this is the first one. So I think he's supposed to be kind of like a. Uh, Samoan Polynesian. He's got the Polynesian tattoos and stuff like that. 
Uh, so he is a big, big, big boy. Uh, he got his belt and his skull there. Uh, he does have a little bit of a there. Yeah, so there's some little bit of cleanup, but that's not that's not too bad. Oh wow, look at that. His weapon's awesome. So the ropes. There you go. Whoops. Yeah, like I said, it, it keeps wanting to focus on the background. What's on his knee up on the front? Oh, it's like little little bone spurs, I guess. Okay. It's like little little pieces of bone there. And then his blunderbuss. Yeah, that's oh, he's awesome. I like him. I like him. I like it a lot. Alright, who is the second one? I can just feel the texture on this one. Oh, there we go. So it's the it's the female character with the flask, so like the potion flask. Um, I don't know what she's got. She, oh, she's got a cat in her arms. Oh, can, we, can we focus? Oh, there we go. Wow. That is awesome. I, I, odd that he's going to play this one because it's got a cute kitty cat. I know that already. This, this is going to be her character. All right? She's got a little bag with all of her potion scripts. Got an extra potion there. Got her book, her tome. And so it's in her, it's in her cloak. So and I, that's, I guess, one of the benefits of late pledging. Like right? when you, when you follow a campaign throughout the whole way, the whole way, you, you kind of know what these are going to be. But when you back it late, you kind of look at them and you're like, oh, this is cool. And you're like, oh, yeah, just take my money. And you don't really go back because you don't get that interaction. So this is, this is really fun. So this here, I think, um, this is supposed to be a religious one, right? So the red coats. Um, I'm I'm drawing a blank. Is it uh, Italian, right? So he's got two blunderbusses. That's not very religious. Uh, but look at his belt. Like you can see that even these lines. I mean, I can get my finger in there. Uh, his sword. This is a little bit. This is a little bit loose. Um, but I mean, it's not too bad. Not too bad. Uh, and the textures in the cloak. Oh, he's got a peg leg. I didn't notice that first time. I noticed it on the back. I was like, oh, what's this little ball down here? Uh, he has a peg leg. He's got a peg leg going on there. And there's little little ruffles along the edges. Yeah, get there we go. Get in there close. Yeah, it's that these are these are awesome. I now I'm gonna say that probably for the rest of the the rest of the time, and you guys are gonna get tired of hearing me say these are awesome, but they're awesome! <laughs> they are awesome all right so here we go so this is the i don't know if she's supposed to maybe be like a witch doctor i think she's more africa and i think the girl in the other box is more maybe like jamaica and the caribbean i'm um, just going by the the headdress um, i don't know if they have backstories i'll have to look before we play so that's neat it's got like this alligator type of dagger down here in the bottom of the the chair or the bench that she's on the pillows her, her belt, her, her boot buckle. She's got her little gun. There we go. We'll get a close up on the face again. Yeah, they've just done such a great job on these faces. So we've never painted a realistic. All right, so there's the mold. That's the mold. All right, I had to take a drink there. Oh, I forgot to show us the cards. All right, before we get to the bosses, I forgot to show us all the cards. I've been like sitting up here. I got all this. I got so excited with the minis, guys. I forgot completely about the rest of the things. But that's cool because now we have the minis out, and we can put our our little base thingies on. So these are hard. They're hard. You can hear them. Oh, I drop. I dropped one. Ugh. There we go. Um. So these are your rings. Those go on pretty nice. Um, the only problem, <clears throat> the only problem I ever have with these is, of course, since if you paint your minis, right, they're gonna be painting this base, and I'm wondering how, like, how much that would do. I've heard people say they varnish them and they they have no problems, um, but I'm wondering if we should just paint them. I gotta figure out what what specifically these colors represent and what they do, and if they don't serve a purpose then I would say we're probably just going to paint, paint the edge of the base the colors that we need, which is what we're going to do with Rising Sun. So we do have Rising Sun as well. Uh, I haven't opened that yet. I haven't put it up for vote yet uh, because we have to... Well, we didn't want to play it unpainted, really. And there's a lot of minis in Rising Sun. So that is the bases. 
Uh, these big cards, I think, are your maybe your hero. No, these are look like these look like boss cards. So where is the thingy? You guys are gonna watch me struggle on this. This is this is whoop, that one wasn't bad. Wow, that yeah. Sometimes I struggle on these because I can't get the uh, opening, but this one was not bad at all. All right, so let's go through these cards. So, oh, these are these are probably your love. Maybe these are the lovers and the uh, nemesis. Nemesi. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what it is. So, lover and nemesis. So the dice have those same symbols, right? Nemesis and lover. All right. So there we go. So we have Lady Grey from the Deathless. So does she look any different on the different sides? I want to see if they look different. Because if they don't look different, uh, we'll just flip them real quickly. Okay, so uh, no, I think they're the same. I think they're the same. You can't see her rose because the ang the the angle that they've got it at. Like you can see the rose in the one, but not the other. But okay, so there is Lady Grey, Father Antonio. Hello, Father. Yeah, see, so he's got his arm up here because it's off the image there. We have Bones sitting on some rum. Got a rum barrel there. All right, some bones. Uh, we have Tenoch. Tenoch of the... Uh, oh, he's from Nassau, I guess. I guess they got a hometown. Tides of War, Justice. Okay, so there's his abilities. And then same thing here. Waves Might, Talix, Champions Wake, True Love. Uh, Itzel. So like a mermaid uh, from San Juan. Hang on, is that different? Now, again, those angles are tricking me. The angles are making me think that they're different, but they're not. Uh, you have Chalk the Oddfin. Chalk the Oddfin. There we go. Uh, we have Marigold from St. John. Uh, Jane, the Salty Sailor. All right, that's cool. And she got a tattoo. And that's the one thing. The, the Polynesian guy, he actually has tattoos, and I don't know... If me and Audrey are going to attempt that, it's just that it's very, those tattoos I know are hard for tattoo artists to do, the tribal tattoos, because how clean they are. I don't know if I want to attempt it on a miniature. <laughs> so Seti the Silent Blade. That's kind of cool. Um, Car, uh, what, Karimala the Viserine. So they always give random crazy names and crazy pronunciations and then you feel like you're saying them all wrong. Dottie the Crowdbreaker. Nice. Um, Valentine the Masked Noble. There you go. So French, kind of a French thing. Um, Param the Kingmaker. So I'm thinking Middle Eastern, yeah. Got the, uh, what is that, uh, Simtar. The Olivia the Royal Assassin. I guess I really don't need to be showing both sides, but I mean, since you can't see the whole art until I flip it, that's why <laughs> that's why I've been doing it. Nina, the deadly dancer. Uh, see, I was thinking they were going to show like a like a knife or something that'd make her deadly. Yeah, she doesn't have a knife in that hand either. Um, the seer, prince of thieves. So he is a pit pocket. So I guess a kind of a play on Aladdin there. Um, Maria, the bounty hunter. We've got a map. She's hunting somebody now. Uh, Maximo, the people's champ. So he's like a like a wrestler. There you go. Uh, Maru, the monster hunter. Oh, she's got like the... Yeah, so she's Polynesian. she got the big uh, hook thing, kind of like... Uh, Why did I just draw a blink? Um, Moana. Whew. Magpie, the bird-brained. So he's got a bunch of bird birds of a feather flocked together. Jules, the high flying felon. Okay, so she's doing a Mission Impossible type deal there. Josephine, Duchess of Orleans. Oh. John, the Ace of Escapades. This has got me wanting to watch Black Sails again. It really does. Like, I don't remember if I ever finished all the Black Sails, um, but this has got me wanting to watch Black Sails right now. Just, just seeing these and reading these. Ishmael, the Mad Mariner. So he's he's got a shark head on. Okay. Uh, Isabella El Capitan. Isabella El Capitan. Uh, Ernest the Escape Artist. 
Okay, so he's got his tools of the trade there in his jacket. We have Deidra. Deidra? We'll go Deidra. Deidra the Tavernus. She's the one that runs the tavern. She's got all the beer for you. Dante the Gilded Fox. Uh, Clara the Ill-Tempered. Uh, blacksmith. Byron. These last ones don't have the same color, so I'm wondering what those are. I guess we'll figure out in a minute, won't we? Byron the Troubled Troubadour. Troubadour? Troubadour. I guess musician. Troubadour. Um, axe Fist the Punisher. Oh, okay, so he lost his arm. Instead of a hook, he's got an axe. That's brutal. Little monkey. Oh, man, chee chee. All right, okay, so here we go. So here are the heroes. So Tan is the legendary captain. So he gets critical hit for every uh, navigation wheel. Um, do they flip over for some reason? No, are they just, I think they're the same. I think they're just on both sides to gain two strength. Gain one strength. Oh, so you must have a regular mode. And then you must be able to, like, upgrade yourself to this other mode. So those little tokens actually go with your heroes. Where'd they go? Uh, did I pop any of them out? I don't think I did. Okay. But yeah, those little tokens actually for the heroes. They just, they seem to resemble the factions as well. But, okay. So he goes from one strength to two strength. And then she is, so her name is Spell, the legendary captain. And she's got a little tiger, baby tiger cub. Aw, oh, it's so lindo. Uh, every uh, wheel assigned, change the face of any one die. That's nice. Um, for every wheel assigned, change the face of any one bonus dice. Okay. Or bonus die. Kahina, the legendary captain. So she gets, for every one uh, wheel, draw one tavern card. Choose two of the drawn items or rumors to keep. Okay, so she basically just takes things. Um, draw one tavern behind, choose one of the drawn items. So, okay, so her upgrade is she gets two instead of one. Um, Cesare? I guess it's Cesare. Uh, legendary Captain Fervor. For every wheel, draw one card, then hire two of the drawn crew for free. That's not bad, so draw, she get two, he gets two crew, and then the other side, of course, is one crew. Uh, and then they, okay, so these are your player cards. So that's nice. Okay, so you don't need the book. So they do have player cards in here as well. All right. I thought it was nice on the back of the book. It's even better that they're actual cards for you. So let's check out the decks. So I'm going to imagine the decks are going to be the tavern deck, the crew deck, and the... Yeah, so here's tavern. Um, I don't know if this is... That looks like weapons. Uh, this might be crew. I don't know. I don't know, guys. See, it's a very bad job. I did a very bad job of reading the rule book before we did this. It was starting to get late. I ate dinner. I was like, ah, I'm going to go ahead and open these. I can't wait any longer. I can't read the rule book. There we go. There we go. All right. So for any of those still with me after uh, 30 minutes, uh, we still have another box to go. <laughs> we have another box to go. Okay. So these are, all right, so these are all the same. All right. So these are all the same. Okay, so they're mixed together. So these are tavern cards. So we might not need to open all of them um, if they're all in here. So these are the tavern cards. So when you can choose, you've got two sides. Um, one fisted, one arm fist fight. Honestly, you fight better with one arm than two. Gain five gold or increase your lover's level. Rumor, Deidre still can't remember how she lost her special tankard in Nassau. And then this one is Everflowing tankard, so it's a relic. Okay, so this one here is story related, and then this one here is um, a relic of some sort. So if it says take a relic, you, you do the relic. If it's story related, then you do the story related. All right, so then the next one are these. So these are, I don't know, they're, they're, they're crowns item, they're crown items. So uh, what do we got? Wig, pike, uh, a bounty, some relics. Okay. So these are item cards as well. Uh, we'll have to see what the difference when we play it and we go through it. We'll have to see what the difference of the crown items are. Relic. Gain one bonus die when challenging a port with a faction or player's flag. Gain two additional blue die. All right. So yeah, so just different gear and relics for your, for your crew amongst 
the Bounty Way. I don't I don't know what the name of our ships are. Maybe they'll they'll tell us the name of the ships. All right. So these are the shell cards. I don't know what the shell cards are. Maybe these are the actions for that particular faction. I would maybe think maybe maybe not. Uh, or it's crew. Okay, so you're hiring the the this crew, this particular faction as crew. Uh, these are legendary crew. So legendary crew members here are their named crew members. And then you have relics. Okay, so you have different things by the factions. So when you choose a faction, these are the cards that you'll put in for that particular faction, right? So you'll have access to their relics, their crew, uh, which is why I said every game um, is different, right? Every game is different because of the options you have for putting the different factions in. So this must be for the faction as well. So yeah, so legendary crew. So uh, yeah, so there we go. So this is, I'm gonna guess this is probably the Spaniard one. Uh, does those look like Spaniard hats? I can't tell. <laughs> I can't tell if those are Spaniard hats or if those are British hats. Uh, maybe British. The British are coming, the British are coming. So I guess we do need to get through all of them because they are different because of the faction cards. All right. Throw that in there. Throw that in there. And what are these? All right, so these change. So these have a dollar amount on them. Yeah, see, so there's money. There's a money cost associated with all of these. So we didn't see the... We, we got the money here. Um, but the, the metal money, I don't know how that is. Okay, so this... Maybe these are the regular crew cards. Um, so yeah, Squire, Shrimp, um, Gunner. Yeah, so these look like your regular your regular crew cards. Navigator, Game 1 to Movement, Quartermaster, uh, Fleetwood, Driftwood. Okay, so they do have... They, here are the boat's names. Remember, we're, gonna, we're setting sail on Petey's Revenge. Peggy, the Widowmaker. Look at that thing. Swordfish. Actually, the Swordfish and the Widowmaker look kind of the same. I think the only difference is the, <laughs> the sails. Uh, Folkstown. Iron Wind. Uh, you have an Accountant, because, you know, it's tax season. You need an Accountant. Uh, Ant Antiquarian. I guess for Antiquities. Uh, Bard. Gotta have some music. Uh, Buccaneer. Cannoneer. Or Carouser. <laughs> Charming Rogue. He's got that, that little, you, you'd see him and he just gets a little sparkle in his teeth. Ching! <laughs> uh, Charming Rogue, a cook, a drunkard, gambler, a munitions expert, a notorious scamp, physician, can always use a good doctor, privateer, scoundrel. So it looks like there's about two of each of the, the, the main guys here. There's like two of each of those. Swindler. Uh, but it looked like there was more of the these guys, right? Yeah, there's four gunners, four navigation, four quartermaster. Yeah, so the, those must be the lower end guys, and then the other ones are the the upper end guys. And then these are more um, tavern things. So just same as we saw last time, you have an item, and then you have a. Um, Quest. Um, now this one looks like it's all items. Oh, no, there you go. There's some relics in here too. Okay. I was thinking maybe the first deck was all relics and then these were all items, but that is not the case. All right. So let's get into the last deck of cards and then the piece de la, piece de la resistance part of this box is the bosses. We'll take a good look at those bosses because those, those, if if they're even half, they're, we know they're gonna be better than these because they're bigger, they're a bigger scale. So they're definitely gonna be better. Um, so, the, okay, so this one has the lion on it again. So I'm thinking this is the rest of my British cards. Um, and then, okay, so here, this one is the, like the Aztec uh, looking symbol. So same thing. So you have legendary crew that you can get from them. Um, and then of course you have your relics and your items that you can get from them. And then, uh, I guess that's the last one. I didn't see any quests in that one, though. So I don't know if there's any quest. I don't know if they all have quests. All right, so this is the Undead Crew. So these tie in with the lovers, actually. Now that, not, I didn't notice this the first time, but yeah, these are your lovers and your nemesis. 
So this makes sense. Lovers and Nemeses. Um, because as you play, they can switch back and forth, right? And then your relics. More relics. I wonder if... I don't know. I wonder if certain ones have more relics than others. So, let's see. I don't know what this is. Let's see here. Is it a new? I think it's a new type of card. All right, yeah. So this has got the crown again. All right, so we're back with the crown. Um, it's got some kind of thing here. Okay, it's a follower, Spanish galleon. All right, so these are different. So the, okay, so it's one for each. So it's okay. It's the bosses. All right, so the Spanish galleon boss, the seeker boss, the King Alaren boss, the naval officer. All right, and there's a royal treasure, admiral. Oh, it's the it's the minions too. Okay, so this is the the minions attack and um, their defense and their what is it? Strength, ally, and move. Uh, that's what it looks like. Uh, Titsuzato, so that's a boss. Soldier, these are minions. Okay, so the difference between the boss and the minion, the boss doesn't have the little things on the side like the minion does. All right. Um, one to two player, what are these? One dash, yeah, one to two player, increase the level of Spanish Galleons. Okay, so this must be your attacking deck, right? These are your attack actions for your uh, factions, because yeah, there's a bunch for each. So there's three, 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 three more, uh, and then three player plus, these are the actions that they take, so yeah. So it's the different actions. The cards are all the same. Um, it's weird that you get three of each. I don't know why you get three of each. Uh, I don't know if they're supposed to be referenced or if they're going to be shuffled into the deck. The British Empire. So what's the difference? If we go from a two-player... So if we go from a two-player to a three-player... What is the difference? All right. So... We put them in the right order. So increase the level of the merfolk. That's the same. Um, place one merf merfolk in Tortuga. Strength six. Um, seven strength. Place one merfolk godian in Claw Bay. This one you place it in Smuggler's Cove. Strength eight. The next round, merfolk guardians gain one movement. Each player must increase a nemesis's level. Uh, strength 8, place 1 Merfolk Guardian in Bridgetown and Claw Bay. Alright, so it looks like the difference is, is maybe this one, they're, the reason it's in Smuggler's Cove versus Claw Bay, I'd imagine it's on the map. So, where is it? Where is... So, Claw Bay is over here, <laughs> right past Port Royal. Uh, and Smuggler's Cove is way... Okay, Smuggler's Cove is way up here at the top right hand corner so it looks like when you're doing a two-player game they're going to probably try to keep everything maybe in this general vicinity so you're not having to run all the way over here when you have three people you could have one person one or two people stay over here one. so that makes that makes sense right they just spread it out to use more of the board to get everybody away from each other all right and take another drink and then we'll get into the bosses All right, so let's get this out of the way. All right. This is gonna be a pain for me to clean up in a little minute, in a minute, because I gotta get to that other box and I'll probably knock everything over, but it'll give you guys good entertainment, right? All right, so here is the first boss. So there's four of them in here. So here's the difference. This is this is the difference. This is, where's, 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 his, where's his compatriot? There we go, there. <laughs> That is the difference. He is huge, man. That is so nice, though. Look at that. He's he's big. Now, honestly, the detail isn't isn't much better, really. I mean, it's got a little bit more detail, but the detail's about the same. I guess it's because those the small ones have so much detail that um, the way that these are made and molded, maybe. It's not going to show that much more. I mean, it's a little bit more. Like, you can definitely tell that that's more raised than the one we saw in the regular miniature. But, yeah. And his shirt, the shirt thing, his spine right there. Oh, you even can see the spine through the back of his shirt there. 
He's got an extra arm. Why has he got an extra? Why has he got an extra arm? <laughs> I don't know why. I don't know why he's got an extra arm. He's got extra skulls too. And that fell off. All right, little axe there. Uh, I don't know what this is supposed to be. I don't know if it's just part of his armor. Um, that's the same thing. It's kind of that soft, soft thing. Um, uh, I mean, that's that's not a big deal. I mean, it is. It actually, it's all kind of soft a little bit. I didn't notice that on the little guys. Now this one's hard. This one though is a little bit soft, a little bit softer. Um, uh, it's good. It's good. I don't care. I don't care about the softness. Uh, they come. The, I mean, in their in their spots. I mean, they're they're in there good. It's not like they're gonna jostle around. So it's not like you have to worry about those little pieces breaking off. Um, I did see somebody leave a comment. I forget where it was, and they said that they, a piece of theirs did break off. But that could happen during manufacturing, being shoved into the box or whatnot. Uh, and I'd imagine Guild Hall is just gonna, you know, you, you email them, they're gonna send you a new one, right? So same thing. Look at look at all of this shiny, so shiny. So here we go. So big fish. So this is the king of Atlantis, Atlantean. Uh, nice fins. Like these are beautiful, beautiful fins. We can do them in like an iridescent. Uh, we're gonna have to go probably buy some of that paint. I know. Um, Vallejo, which is what we use, they have like a color shift paint. So we might actually go look and see if our local shop has that. Yeah, that is, look at all the, all the little things in there, the ropes. So you can see there's one of the mold lines, which is fine. Like, see, you can see this was a separate piece. So, you know, take a little bit of filler, fill that in, get rid of that mold line. I don't even think it really matters. I mean, that's, it's in such a spot where you know you could even just play it off as, as a rope if, if, if you didn't right because it is right there on that that rope but yeah so he's great all right so let's go ahead and get into the next one I th i'm gonna save uh what i think probably is gonna be the coolest one for the last uh so here we go so we have the uh admiral one that was it admiral admiral on the cannon we're gonna call him the admiral i don't remember if he was admiral so there you go so you can see the the points so that must be where the mold lines up. There's your mold line. Uh, but again, not not that bad. Like that, a little bit of sandpaper is going to take that right off. Or a little bit of, uh, I have sanding, like little sanding sticks is going to take that right off. And same thing here. Like where that where that joins, where that mold line is, just kind of blends in with the, with the hair, right? So it just looks like it could actually be part of that. That's really well done. Got his teeth going on there. Nice little snarl. Uh, and then, of course, he's a little bit smaller because he's standing on there. So both of these are um, size proportionate. Uh, he's kind of a big guy. Let me get, let me get, a, let me get a regular regular guy, not our, not our big uh, Samoan guy there, our Polynesian. Uh, but yeah, look at that. So they, they, are, they are accurate proportionate sizes. Uh, same thing with him, right? The, the king sitting on the fish. So... That was that's well done. Uh, so yeah, same thing. You got your wood grain there. You got your wood grain there. Not not as well done here. But I was still amazed it was inside the bit, the boats. The fact that they got that wood grain in there. All right, little claws. Uh, come on, claws. Uh, same thing. The details on him is great. Look at the, I mean his face. Like you can see that expression. All the little details, all the little rivets in his in his armor. These are well done. Like, I, again, I'm new to the hobby, so I don't know if Guildhall has done something like this before, but I do know they have a new Kickstarter coming up. And, and if the minis are the same quality, I'm buying it. Like, I, the game could be, well, now I'm not going to say the game would be bad and I would still buy it, but uh, it looks good uh, from the previews we've seen. Uh, so this looks like a kind of like a mollusk thing with a little Cthulhu vibe going on. Um, but yeah, they've got all these intertwined... Um, see, I don't know if those should be there. So underneath, see how it's got that little, like, I feel like that should be like an open spot. But then when you go to this side, yeah, that side, it, it should be the tentacles that are on this other side and it's not. Um, but again, you're not going to look at them from underneath. You're going to look at them from here. From this angle, he's bad. He's a bad mofo. Yeah, look at these. These little, each scale, they're all... Little jagged scales like that. There's a couple, a little bit of cleanup. I'd, I'd say, you know, if you wanted to make it perfect, you could clean these little little pieces up here. 
but I don't think you would notice. Put a little primer, put a little paint. I think it's gonna look beautiful. He's got his down here on the bottom, so he's got his rocks. He's up up on the rocks with his his octopi tentacles. So there we go. Look at that. I mean, this is underneath, and that that pulled that detail from the bottom. These are beautiful, man. These are great. Now I did notice none of these guys had texture. So I, I complimented the texture on the one, and I noticed none of the big guys had texture, nor did these. Neither did the heroes. The heroes didn't have texture either. So it looked like so they had a little bit of texture. So th these guys had texture. And well, that's the same guy. Um, they didn't. The boat did because it had the waves, right? And then he did as well because of his his, his uh, gold, his treasure chest. Uh, and then she didn't. So it looks like some did, some didn't. That That's actually kind of a miss. So, all right, guys. So I'm going to take all of this, put it back in the box, and then I'll be right back with the second box. All right, guys. So we are back. So this here is the second box. So both boxes have their heroes on them. So we'll, of course, go through the heroes <laughs> yeah we'll turn the box over the other way but yeah so this one is purple everything else about it's the same it's got that same side book look uh so they didn't change anything about that between the two boxes uh which is nice because when they're standing up on the bookshelf they're going to look really nice together so this one has some additional tokens so these most likely are, are faction based right so you get the the same style of tokens that we got in the other one uh, these are different though, so it must be some kind of condition that one of the new factions does to your to your players, to your characters. Um, and then of course we will save the minis until we go through all the little bits. We go through all the little bits and then we go and look at all the beautiful minis. Alright, so here we go. So we have, yeah, so these are your faction things here, so the same as the other one. Uh, same little square. It looks like the same thing. They're based around the factions. Uh, these I know have to do with the the ones that are trying to raise the demon. Uh, I know that's there. Uh, this looks like some kind of little <laughs> shopping shopping hut. Uh, and then these are the eggs to hatch the harpy, if I remember correctly. That's for the harpy. Uh, I don't know what the big berries are for. Uh, these, of course, were probably for Quizzaquaddle. And I'm probably saying that wrong. I don't speak Aztec. <laughs> Although I don't think that has any bearing on me saying it wrong. I think I just, I can't say words. Words are hard. Words are hard. All right, what else do we get in this box? All right, it is a big, big box. Oh, these bosses are beautiful. You guys are going to be, you guys are going to be enjoying this. All right, so we do have uh, four more tokens. And these ones are different colors, so it is so that way each player can identify their uh, character. So I'm almost thinking we can just paint a color on the base. I don't think it really matters uh, what color anybody is uh, when it comes to their base. Uh, more bags. Free bags. We like freebies. Ask Adri. Adri loves the freebies. Any of the extras that we get. Uh, so we'll go over these. We're going to do the same order last time. We'll do this. I'll go through the baddies and the new heroes, and then we will go through the cards, and then we'll go through the bosses. That way it's the same same. If you're watching and you want to skip to a certain point, you'll know where it is. So here we go. So we have the Aztecs. Uh, so same thing. They're little player guides. All right. And then it looks like Aztec gold is worth notoriety. Okay, so the Spanish are trying to uh, get some gold because um, they were trying to find the city of gold, El Dorado, down in Colombia. Uh, Ordo Nocturnus, uh, so these are the ones that are trying to summon the demon. The Sea Coven, so these are the elementals, the water elementals. Uh, Sentinel, Sentinels of Muku, uh, these are the, mm, these are the monkeys. Yeah, these are the monkeys. Uh, the Sky Stalkers, so this is the Harpy, which like I said is, yeah, you got uh, the Harpy eggs for those. And then we will look at these so we know who our heroes are when we look at them this time. All right. So we have Grimwald. So this is the um, Blackbeard. I guess he's supposed to be like Blackbeard, right? So he has, for every wheel, he gets... Uh, 
Uh, for every wheel, activate an ability from one of your discarded crew. Uh, for every wheel, activate ability from any discard. Okay, so this one's the last three crew members. This one is any crew member. And then we have Captain Jack, who has a fiery temper. Uh, when vengeance token, you may discard two vengeance token to gain one strength or movement. Uh, gain one vengeance, may you discard one for one and one. Okay, so this one takes two to get one and one. This one's one to get one and one. Uh, we have Liu. Uh, so for you get to refresh a crew. Uh, with this one, you need to refresh a crew and gain one strength. Okay, so I know I just noticed that on these ones. They're zoomed out and then they're zoomed in um, when you have them flipped to their better side. And then we have Matchlock, which has these, these awesome gun blades. So I want to see those on the mini. Uh, Matchlock, you get two gold. And for this one, you get two gold and a strength. And then these are the um, your lovers, your nemeses. Uh, so we have Chimali, the Emperor's heir. And she's got like a little leopard there. Or a cheetah, maybe. Maybe a cheetah. Um, Popo, Popo Chitli. Popo Chitli, <laughs> the priestess. Uh, there we go. We have Zuma, the Jade Champion. I like these. These, these are just, it's just so good looking. Uh, we have a Mons. So, okay, so the little devil, little, little devils, little, little Devin. I was trying to say Devin. I was trying to say demon and devil and sever how I've confused them together each time. Uh, so we have a Mon, the Sly Devil, uh, Ignatius, the Two-Faced. Oh, now he has changed. Do they, do they, hang on. So he looks nice and happy there. Or maybe it's only him because he's two-faced. So here he looks like all normal. And then here he's all demonic. I wonder. So you have uh, Lilith the Vextress. Okay, I see I see her, right? Wings, horns, wings, horns. Okay, so it must just be him because he's two-faced. I didn't think any of the other ones had a difference. Geddon the Gifted. We have... Mamadro, the Water Weaver. So she's like um, a Medusa type of snake creature. Uh, Morgane, the Bewitching. So these are the these are the elementalists, right? So the witches, um, but they're water witches. See, she's got the net, the seashells. That's kind of nice. Um, Ixchili, the Guardian. And we have Peck, the Nahua, the Nahua. Yeah, Picky, Picky Peck. Uh, Yuxkin, the High Priest. Picky Peck, for those of you. Pokemon. Um, Helena, the Huntress. So she changed. So maybe some of them do change. I'm just not noticing the, the differences. Because, see, she's like this. And then when you flip her, she's got this mask on. You have Minos, the Golden Child. Minos. Minos. Yeah, I think so, just some of them change. So that's fun. You got to figure out which ones change, which ones don't. Uh, TC, the Sky Speaker. So did she get a mask? Yeah, so she gains a mask when she switches over. And then, okay, so Quizzaquatl is the only one that has a leader card this time. So that's that's different. The other one had a bunch of them, but this one only, Quizzaquatl has a leader card. All right, so let's look at our minis. I'm going to take another drink here. Oh, a lot of a lot of stuff in these boxes, man. Now, now I see why uh, board game uh, uh, board games and coffee, coffee board games, and, yeah, board games and coffee, right? I'm probably saying that wrong, and then 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 people are gonna be like, "You don't know these YouTubers." Sorry, there's a bunch of them. Um, but now I know why his his video his unboxing videos are so long. So here we go. So here are the little the little monkeys. Same great detail. Like even the fur. Like you can see the fur that they did. And then so he's got a little bit of something. He's got that little rock. Uh, and he's got his dagger. Same thing. Not very smooth along the edges. So that take a little bit of sanding to get that down. Uh, tails kind of loose. Because it's that same thing. So it's a, it's a, it is a it is a kind of bendy, bendy plastic. So I don't know. You guys can let me know what 
the difference are. I mean, you know, there, I know there's like PVC and there's resin. Resin is like your high-end stuff. There's metal. But I know there's different types of uh, plastic. Your PVC, your what, HIP, HIP, H H I P H P something like that. Again, we're new to this, right? I just, I've seen all these acronyms and don't know what they mean. All right, so these are the water elementals. So they kind of look like, I don't know if they're supposed to be like boxes, like horses. I don't know what, I don't know what animal they're supposed to be. But yes, yeah, so they got the water kind of coming up. These, these will be, these will be interesting to paint. Like I would think like a blue into like a dark blue, but we don't do much with color shading. Um, this is combined right there at that foot. Yeah, see it's combined right there. So, uh, are they all the same? I think they're all the same. Yeah, I don't think there's there's no difference. So they're all the same. Uh, I feel like this one has more detail than this one though. Uh, a little bit. This one got smoothed off on that ear. Oh, okay, it's that ear. All right, that's why. So this ear's smooth, and then this ear's pointy. Good thing I pulled another one out. We can see the differences. All right, so same as last time, we'll do all of the extras, and then we'll do the um, the heroes. So there were there's six of these guys, six of these guys. There are six of these. So it's six of all of them. So there's six of each of these guys. Um, so these are the summoners. So he's got this big, fancy mustache going on. He's, he's summoning with a peace sign. I don't, I don't know if I should trust that or not. Um, is he missing a finger? One, two, three. Oh, it's webbed. That's why it's a webbed, webbed finger. Can I get it to zoom in on his face and finger there? See, now this one he has them, or is this webbed as well? I guess that's webbed as well, so it's one, two, three, and then that's webbed. Yeah, he's got webbed fingers. Yeah, does he have webbed feet? I don't know what he's got for feet. No clue what he has for feet. Uh, and there's the mold line there. It's right there. It's a hair a hair mold line. His his uh cloak isn't as thick as the one pirate was. So yeah. There we go. There are our our cultists, and then our last one are the golems. So the for Quetzalcoatl, right? Uh, so there are these little golem type creatures. They look like bears. It's kind of like a golem bear. So he's got these little bear ears. <laughs> it's kind of cute. Uh, so yeah, eh, it's not perfectly straight. What can you do? What can you do? You know, you can you can gripe about little things. So yeah, it looks like there's where it attaches. That's probably why. I wonder if I pull another one out. I wonder if it's the same. It looks like a couple of them are like that. Yeah, see, this one's a little bit straighter, but not not much. But yeah, you can see this one's straighter than this one. So I think it just depended where that hit when it when it got glued down and whether it got glued down all the way or not. But yeah, you can see like the the rune, kind of like the rune in the stones there, like the. I don't know, like your magical rune markings of why a golem is a golem. Uh, it's got these little, kind of like, um, I forget what type, I forget what that's called, but it's like horses and, and dogs and stuff, they have this reverse uh, joint compared to a human, right? That's kind of neat they did that rather than making it a humanoid. Then you got these plates. So same thing here, you can see where the separate pieces were put together. And it was done in a smart spot. It was done at these joints. So here, this is a separate piece for his gauntlet. And you can tell, you know, that's where it's glued in is right there. So that's a real smart spot to put that. All right. So that is our entourage of baddies. So let's get into our goodies. Here's the first one. This was the one I wanted to see, right? It was the gun blades. And those are beautiful gun blades. Yeah, those look, those look great. So here we go. I mean, the, de the detail on these, every single one of them has great detail. Uh, I don't know why I'm looking up his cloak. I I, I think it's because the, the King of Average, he looks up their cloak, right? <laughs> for, for whatever reason he does that. Uh, but yeah, so there you go. There's the detail. Look at that. You can see on his shoulder pads. You can see his guns. Yeah, I mean, 
I don't know. I think this is a lot of detail. You guys can tell me I'm wrong and, and, and let me know in the comments if these, these are not great detail, but I'm impressed by them. I think they look beautiful. And that's all that matters. It's my game. <laughs> all right, so here we go. So here is Jack. So she's got a ball of uh, a bunch of cannonballs she's standing on for her bazooka gun here. Um, so her... Oops, that's an Audrey. That is not a... I was thinking that was a... Uh, was the was the mold line? It wasn't a mold line. It was it was just Audrey. Audrey came along for the video, so you guys got to see a little bit of her. Here we go. We got feathers, and then her her hat there has got all the details. Um, lost a little bit of detail in the shirt. Like I think it's supposed to be kind of like a over the shoulder type thing. Um, and I don't see. I mean, I can kind of see it when I'm painting it. I'll be able to paint it, but I think they it missed it missed a little bit of detail there. And then her, this side's a little bit skinnier, but this side's kind of thick. So. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I didn't know. That. Okay, she's got a she's got a belt made out of uh, ropes. Yeah. A ponytail. The ponytail's good. Yeah. Wow, guys. Let's see how these. We'll see how these bases fit too. I'll go ahead and put them on while I'm while I'm at it. I put them back in the box with the bases on, so why not? Bye. We lost one. Oh, where'd she go? There she is. Yep, same thing. Good snip. Ooh, so that's that's actually, I just realized, she has kind of thin ankles. And when I push that on, yeah, so don't don't push too hard. Don't push too hard on her. Um, and my guy with the gun blades. All right, so his isn't, this one isn't sticking as well. So me painting them is going to be probably my better idea anyway. My better uh, plan. What we got here all right so this is all right so this was the um the, i forget what his name was he, he's blackbeard basically he's blackbeard um so he's actually kind of skeletal there i don't know if he was like that in the picture or not can i find him real quick we'll see he was down here oh yeah he is he's skeletal he's a skeleton here that is so weird you can't see his other arm from this one, but oh, no, that's the, the magic coming off the sword. Hang on. Oh, he's skeletal on this side, too. So down here on his foot versus this one. Oh, so he's kind of like he's kind of like Pirates of the Caribbean, right? Where like this is a side the the moonlight's hitting, right? So they turn skeletal. So that is kind of disappointing that it's not hollow there. Um, I don't know. I don't like if game works um, or any of them, if it's usually hollow or if it's solid like that as well, I'd have to look at some. There's a nice little iguana pet on his, on his shoulder. There you go. Uh, he loses a little bit of face detail, but that's because of the huge beard, I think. Uh, but not much. I mean, you can still definitely see like the little different difference on his like cheek to his eye there. Uh, his sword. Uh, the little detail in his uh, in his in his robe or his coat or coat. Why do I call it a robe? He's wearing a coat. In his coat. All right, and then the last the last one is our other female pirate. Uh, so this is the one I think, like I said, it's from Jamaica. She's got the dreads and all going on. Uh, look at the oh, look at the detail in her boots. That's awesome. Uh, she's got these little uh, grenades, I guess, and her sword. Uh, pretty much the same as all the other ones, right? Uh, pretty much the same. But they did carry her dreads through the back, so you do get that going on. And then same thing up here on her cap, the feathers, you get the feather details. That is it. Again, these are awesome, beautiful minis. These are great. Um, so we did that, did that. All right, so let's do a quick peek through these cards, see what's different. So they do have the different logos for the different factions. Uh, so these look like our buy things, the things that we can buy. So the same as the other one. So it's uh, we got Barnacle. All right, so we have the Gunner, Quartermaster. All right, so they just give you extras. One extra, it looks like, of each. Um, the Gunner, the Navigator, and the Quartermaster. And then we have each of our... Um, factions, the crew that we can hire from them. So you have Chimali, Popochito, or Popochiti, Chitli. Wow. 
Zuma, Amon, Ignatius, uh, Lilith. Yeah, so it shows their good side, of course, because, you know, they want you to hire them at first. We'll be your lover. Then we will be your nemesis. Um, baby Harpies. So you can actually hire the Baby Harpy. Okay. Uh, Helena. Minos. Tissi. And then these are, okay, so here's our relics for the um, Quizzaquatl. At Quizzaquatl's Feathers. And then what's the purple? All right, so these are the uh, demon, the demon guys, the demon worshiper guys. But yes, there's your ring. So it's initiate's ring. Once per challenge, lose one strength to negotiate the effects of two daggers. I don't know what those daggers are, but I guess you want to negotiate and lose strength for it. <laughs> I wouldn't know why I'd want to lose strength, but there's got to be a reason. All right. Uh... I was about to say, come on now, we haven't had much trouble with, with all of these plastic baggy card holding things, and then that one's going to give us trouble. Alright, so these are more of the initiate stuff. Uh, Alright, there we go. Ah, those colors. I mean, you can see the difference, but it's, it's a subtle difference. I don't know if it makes that big of a deal. I mean, you've got the logo in the corner, and I don't know how important it is to know that it belongs to that particular group during the game. Um, so here's your Ocean's Tier. So these are the Elemental Summoners. Like, I would have think they would have gone with the Elemental Summoner more be more of a blue, bluish color. Like a blue aqua color, maybe. Oh, that was the, that was Atlantean. So I guess, no, I guess that wouldn't work. Uh, and then these are the, um, the monkey guys. Yeah, these are the monkey guys. I should look at the card. It's got a picture of a monkey on it. Here's our, min our, our minkies. Minky, minky, minkies. And then here, these are the Harpy cards. Vicious Wound. If you roll one or more dagger, lose one strength in addition to other Nemesis effects. Whew. And then the last pack of cards, and then we will get to what we all want to see, right? What we always want to see, the big bosses. And I jinxed myself. I said we hadn't had a single one that's given me trouble. And that one gave me trouble. All right. All right. So, last of the okay. So there's more of the harpies, more harpies. So that's that's her egg. You're gonna steal her egg. Uh, plus one. I, I don't know what that is. Plus one scalded crossbones while it's being held. Again, I guess that's what I'm gonna be doing while in between painting is reading the rule book because I feel like this is gonna have some rules to it. All right, so here are the the champions, the bad guys, the mini guys. So you have your follower, and then Quizzaquatl, like I said, he has one of each. So I'm really confused why he has one of each. Like I said, he was different than the other ones and the fact that he has this extra card. Uh, Spanish Galleon. Uh, oh, okay, because of the, they have the, the gold one, the Aztec gold. Uh, the Initiate. The follower, so that's the nocturne, the leader. Sea elemental, Allura. That's a big bear. That's gonna be oh there oh there's a girl in it. I wonder if she's in the model. We have to see. Um Sentinel and then bats. But he's a monkey. But he's a bat. But he's a monkey. But he's a bat. But he's a monkey. <laughs> Spanish galleon, so they have the Spanish galleons as well. So rather than having extra guys, they get the Spanish galleons. Um, so they actually have three, right? They have the follower, the leader, and the galleon. And I think these were the same, right? Yeah, you have the follower, the leader, and the galleon. All right. So now I don't know, and I don't know if any, if they mention online if, if particular factions are stronger or weaker. Um, so same thing here. So you have your one and two player uh, conditions, and then you have your three player plus conditions. Uh, same thing, three of each of those cards. All right, we'll get this over a cheer. And the last but not least, the big boys. All right. They all look awesome, so I'm just grabbing them. I don't it doesn't matter to me, but oh, wow. Look at that. And he's like on this stand, and the stand, oh, look, 
it's actually got a hole in it. Oh, that's all. Oh, look at the in the stairs. It does go. It's recessed in there a little bit. So that's same thing. So there's the mold line, right? Because then they, they stacked it. And that's how they're able to get all of this that they've got going on here. Is by making these multiple. So it's a multi multiple mold. They've just done a decent job of hiding where the mold lines is. So here's one, right? And that one's kind of bad because it's right on the feathers. But like in the middle, that's not that bad at all. Right, but he's got his scales. Again, going to be so much fun to paint. We've never painted things like this. I mean, if, if you've seen our videos, we painted all the Marvel United. We painted all of our Aftermath. We painted all of our uh, My Little Scythe. Right, we paint. We even painted our Santorini minis. But like, why not? Plastic should not be plastic colored. It should be beautiful. So yeah, he's he's awesome. Oh, lost somebody. Lost somebody. All right. Numero dos. Numero dos of cinco. Oh, look at that. These horns. He's got this. He's got his hair going around like his beard. Kind of, it, it seems slightly out of place because it's separated from his head, but it still looks good. And then he's got his, his hair flying up. I do feel like it lost, yeah, it lost a little bit in here. Um, which is weird because this is a separate piece than this. So it feels like that should have had more detail, but maybe because of having to put the horns there, they had to be safe, better safe than sorry. Uh, but he's got these nodules for his, for his bones and his wings. There's his hand. The same thing. There's there's some edge lines. A little bit of cleanup. His hooves, hooves, the chains. Chains aren't bad. Yeah, this one's even split. So they even got the split at the bottom of the chain. That's kind of cool. All right. Oh, that's nice. The ridge. Ridge going down. So it's ridged here. Not as much here. So it does lose some down here at this lower section where it got thinner. Yeah, so it's almost nothing there. And then he's empty in the bottle. So this one, this one's solid in the bottle. We'll have to look at the other ones. I, I don't remember the other ones out over there, but he, he's empty in the bottle. Now the back of his hair looks awesome. Back of his hair looks awesome. Alright. That's Nocturne. Next is our Harpy. I thought the Harpy was a girl. The Harpy's a guy. Okay. That's cool, too. <laughs> That's cool. All right, so he's on a wrecked ship. Uh, did they get the planks? No, nah, they didn't get the planks this time. No planks. I mean, the most you got is that little bit right there where it broke. But there's not really any planks in the bottom. Oh, maybe it's not a... No? Yeah, they got the planks on the outside. They just don't have them on the inside. Oh, well. Yeah, look at that. Even detailed underneath. <laughs> uh, how are the claws? Oh, look at them claws. Uh, they did. Yeah, I can see where they had to. They had to make it touch. Um, if they would have made it a separate piece, then it could have been more claw-like. I think uh, with the the curve, right? Um, or same difference. If they would have brought it, like, well, oh, no, that didn't work here. They brought it up to the edge of this, but because the claws went under, so. Again, minor misses. I mean, overall, I mean, I mean, look at the feathers. That's just awesome. And then the same thing here. They did that texturing, like the the fine feathers that birds have. Um, looks like, yeah, see, I can see the glue there. So it looks like mine got a little bit sloppy with the glue. Um, same thing, though. Just take a little exacto knife, uh, scrape that off. I'm gonna, you got to prime them anyways, uh, but to make sure you don't lose any of that detail. And then the... the the head, that's a separate piece, so there's that mold line. And then you got the, the feathers on the headdress. Again, very, very nice. Very nice. So, dos mas, two more, guys. Oh, I said I was gonna look at the bottom. I think he's flat. Nope, he's not flat. He actually is not flat. He got knocked down, so I, he got turned around. Now he's fighting the heartbeat. Um, so yeah, for, for reference, we didn't do that with these guys, but same thing. So here's your... They're a little bit smaller um, than the other ones. So there's your demon. So I think that one guy in the first box is the biggest one we've had. 
Now, this is the only disadvantage here, right? This is the only thing that's, this is not size, <laughs> size related at all, um, because this would be huge. If they would have made this life size, it wouldn't have fit on the board, right? It, it would have, it, that would have been the whole board. Your game board would have been having him out there. Um, but I guess, uh, no, same thing. He's not, he's not real size either. Cause that's a ship. So yeah, he's, they couldn't make him real size either. Maybe they can, they should, they should make a life size version that you can buy. Um, just as an extra. Um, I think there's a, I don't know which one it is. If it's C Cthulhu death may die or, or which one, isn't there a, a big Cthulhu and is it a Simon game? There's a big Cthulhu. I know that. Um, and here we go. So the last one is the bear, the elemental bear. So, so they did put her in here. Let's grab one of the other females. So she's, no, I guess she would be the same size if you think about it. Her knees are bent, right? So yeah, so she's proportionate. So this is a, to scale. Uh, there's your mold line here. So this is gonna leave me a little bit of cleanup. But big old claws, they're, they're hefty too. These are These are nice and thick. Like that's not bending. The thick ones aren't bending. Uh, and this one, I guess your mold lines aren't that big of a deal because again, it's kind of water. So you kind of play with it if you wanted to. But like, let's, let's see if we can zoom in on her a little bit. So they do have her hair and it is it is kind of separate. So she's added, yeah, there's the mold line. So she's put on separate. Uh, so she's not attached to that. Um, Lost all the finger detail. And yeah, they, there's not much. There's a little bit. I mean, there's a little bit. This one, though, looks like a webbed <laughs> That That's a webbed hand. There's no finger detail on that one. Uh, is there some on the back? Uh, there's a little bit. Looks like a webbed hand, though, still. There's the bottom. Little water water thing shooting off. Tons and tons of texture on him, though. Yeah. Rawr! His teeth. Oh, so this is a separate piece as well. That's going to lead him extra. Lots of filling on this guy. Lots of filling on this guy. So, there we go, guys. That is all of the models, all the minis, all the figures, all the cards, all the bits, all the bites, all the stuff, all me hitting the camera <laughs> for this game. So, if you like Sea of Legends, um, I know it's probably going to come to retail. I don't know when. Um, if you guys know when, leave a comment down below. Um, if you want to see this gameplay, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. Hit the bell notification so you know when me and Odd video go live on March 27th. Uh, like I said, the app will be available on March 26th. If you're one of those that are still waiting on the game and didn't know that, that's when that's going live. Uh, and until next time, guys, peace.